the vaccines are now here but it is relying upon you and you and you and me to make the right decision if we are to get it behind us. If we have more and more persons vaccinated, we can increase the caps on persons who attend entertainment functions. And so we know the entertainers have been complaining with the cap of 150. But if we have vaccinated persons who are going to these functions, they can increase their number. We can have outdoor concerts again, even before we reach herd immunity. If, for example, uh, we have more vaccinated persons in those clubs. And so I can see a, a mini uh, music festival, private concerts, etc., where you have somebody on stage and you have persons uh, almost near normal crowd uh, once they are vaccinated. Uh, Taking the vaccination is not just about individual and individual rights. Taking the vaccination is an act of selflessness. In my view, it is an act of patriotism because the very act can determine how far we go, how soon we will get there. Whether 2,000 plus people in the tourism industry will be able to get to work again depends on whether or not the taxi drivers, those in our restaurants, those in our schools get themselves vaccinated. That is a stark reality. The power lies in you because everyone has to get themselves informed get themselves persuaded to take the vaccine because we have heard it from the chief medical officer. If we do not vaccinate our people, it will just be a matter of time before we go into community transmission like our neighbors. Based on the science, vaccination is our only hope. The COVID-19 vaccine is our best shot at protecting ourselves, our families, our communities, and the Federation. When you look at that graph that is put out over, you have to understand that we have to vaccinate 100% of persons on that graph, not 70%, because the 33,037 is already 70% of the population, because those between the ages of 0 to 18 who cannot be vaccinated and the uh, few 600 persons we have above the age of 80 or 90 who uh, may not be able to be vaccinated, they are included in the 30%. And so we're actually looking at vaccinating 100% of the 33,037. So for those of you who are having some misconception, thinking that on that graph, when we get to 70%, we say, hurrah, that is not so. We have to get to 100%.